Good afternoon. Uh, today I'm in a little bit of a rush here to kind of clean up these cars and uh, 79 four-door automatic. Uh, started taking the tinted glass out and cutting out the door locks and any kind of metal like a save. But this one's really, really bad. The floors are rotted out right through. Had AC and that's been already taken out, most of it. Uh, what I want to do is I just noticed the windshield was still fairly decent. It only had a couple little marks in it on the passenger side here, 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 and here. So what I want to do is uh, do a demonstration how to get this window out by yourself. Two people would be better. Uh, here's the clip. Take a screwdriver, lift that clip out. Then you want to start digging out this trim in here. It's like a T-shaped trim. And you're going to work that all the way around the glass get it out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my trusty old heat gun here and uh start warming this all up put you on hold here while i do that all right since i'm a one-man show here uh here's what i got so far so i was as i'm pulling it along both directions i'd be heating it here with a heat gun and i would also be lifting the trim but right now it's cold i got to heat this along right to the end to get that off all right so we got the trims on the ground there it actually broke because i was too much in a hurry wasn't heating it enough when i was pulling it so i run my hand all around this edge pull that lip all the way back especially the top corners of here are going to be a little bit tougher and work it right across or on the other side I don't know how dry your seals are, but these ones up here in our drier, colder climate, they seem to uh, keep their softness fairly well. So this this windshield I could put into any car as long as I got this boot. Clean the trim metal really well around it. Maybe add a little bit of silicone on the inside just to kind of help seal, especially in the top here where the water wants to always find its way down all right so i've taken some wd-40 sprayed it all around the inside of the seal here maybe uh some other silicone sprays might be good for this and now comes the hard part because these these four corners is what really holds the glass but you want to really warm them up there we go all right about after eight minutes of heating these corners especially these upper corners here and the bottom corner down here and then from the inside the inside is really critical you really want to get that glass warm you don't want it to be i popped that other corner out i'll go around so from the from the inside here i worked this corner made sure it wasn't stuck and i pushed this glass out and i just got it started and i pulled the lip back from the outside and I got this corner out and once this corner is out you work on the other side I got the other side out right here so now once that corner is out go like that and the glass is warm you can I don't know if you can see that you can slowly work this up there you go put this down on one person here and uh once it's there, you can lift her out of the boot. So there you go, got the windshield out. I know I just laid on the hood with the other tinted glass from the four door. So like I said, I only had a couple little chips in here which I can live with, they're out of my view. Clean it all up. So now that the glass is out, we can grab the seal, the boot, pull it right out of the whole trim very easily. And as you can see, this car had a pretty good, uh, clean metal all the way around it like some of yours might be really rusty that one corner right down there by the drain those are the drain holes they need to be here and so the bottoms here were a little bit rusty so putting the glass in you're going to want a couple of guys to do that for sure clean it all up and reverse the pattern and take your time putting it back in